Time to repair this rocking chair and get it ready for the grandbaby for Christmas. Actually, he's almost three, so this will be the only Christmas that he can use it. I'm going to repair this, get that glued together. So my plan is to take it apart. It's all put together with these little screws. They're rusted, so I'm hoping I can get those out of there. And then glue everything in, give it a light sand, quick finish with clear coat and preserve that little guy there and then put it all back together. Well, happily the screws came out nice and easily. These are the pieces I have all laid out. Here's the back of the chair that needed glued together and I also glued together a couple of the crossbars on the arm pieces so that it would be more sturdy. After doing that, I sanded all the pieces with my mouse sander, my oscillating sander, and was very careful around that artwork so that I could preserve it. I did clean it with a little bit of Dawn dish soap and water and Q-tips before adding polyurethane. Here are the pieces that have a couple coats of poly on them and then a third coat. I did use some little wooden buttons to cover up the screw holes. Here's a walk around of the project while it's in the living room to give you an idea of what everything looks like. It's all sanded, polyurethane on it. The artwork has been cleaned up and restored. came out very nicely. I did use those buttons right there polyurethane, there are the rusty nails, sorry, screws that came out of it. And one more look at everything before I put it together. Here are the brass screws that I used to replace the rusty ones that I had removed. Each piece has two coats of poly and now it's time to put it together. The first step was to put on the rockers. And the next step is the front piece. Now we'll put on the seat and the back piece. Well, I found that once I started putting on the bottom seat, or the seat, that I couldn't quite line up the holes, so I had to take this front piece off, actually the side piece here, which left this open, and then I could do the first screw, and now I can set these two. I ended up putting a third coat of polyurethane on the entire chair and that last coat really made a difference. You can see how shiny it is and how it brings out the uh, grain of the oak wood. So this little rocker has been refurbished. I am so excited about it. Look at this baby face. I cleaned him with a little bit of um, Dawn dish soap and warm water and Q-tips and repaired this piece. It's nice and solid now. I love that you can see that it's been repaired. Got it's a little blemish there, and I think that's why actually it broke, because there's a knot. And then I added some little wooden buttons that matched perfectly. So excited about that. It has three coats of poly. The last coat really made it pop. Here's the other buttons. I cannot wait for my little grandbabe to sit in here and get some Christmas pictures. Isn't that adorable? So adorable. Here are some before and after pictures of the project, the artwork, the chair, and then progress shots. Head on over to the blog for all of the details. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.